Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No rib humping here. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna look at your pelvis. Okay, now move your knees apart. Oh. Nice and bouncy. That's so hard. <laughs> Does that hurt? <clears throat> oh. Okay, looking from the bottom. I just relax here. Oh! Did you feel it all the way down? Okay, and then looking from the top. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. We're back. Let's do an update after the first one. So we worked on some neck stuff last time too. After I adjusted you, did it feel good? Yes. How long did it feel good for? Did you have any pain afterwards? Mm, yes. How are you feeling today? I'm good. Good. Have you been having headaches? Uh, yes, I had. Every day? Not every day. Okay, right. Uh, uh, well, which one? Here. Okay, what about here? Is that one tender? Uh, uh, not, not as much. Not too bad. <laughs> Bring your feet together. Okay. okay, now move your knees apart, but keep your feet on flat on the ground. Like yep. Uh, okay, back together. Apart. Back together. There's no more. There's no movement here. This one's tender, but this one oh, yeah. is the one here. Ah. Okay, push your arm up against me. Yeah, hold it just like that. Hold that. A high right hip here and a high right gluteal fold. You can see it on this. You can see the glute folds right now. All right, so the pelvis is shifted like this. That's what we saw last time, too. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the tailbone, okay? Does that hurt? No. Here? A little bit. We did it on the left. We did basic on the left last time. This is better than it was last mm -hmm. time. This was very tender, remember? Just a little bit on the outside here. Good breathing. Okay, this one's a little tight. We're just gonna push through it a little bit. Just take one deep breath in through me, for me. And out.
tender. Still tender? Mm -mm. It's better, right? Mm -hmm. How about that one? Is that one better? Nice and gentle, go and take a deep breath in. Yeah. Got the shoulders sink in here. Okay, again, deep breath in. Out. Breathing in and out. Pressure on the front. Okay, this time you're gonna take a deep breath in, then as you breathe out, I'll push. Let's give that a try, deep breath in. Good, let your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Okay, one more time, deep breath in. Shoulders. Oh, yeah. How's that? Good. <laughs> We're gonna bend this one like this. Okay, I'm gonna scoot you forward just a little bit here. But nice and gentle, take a deep breath in. Good and out. Good breathing. Gentle. Play on your back? Good. Okay, we're gonna bend this top leg here, bottom leg is straight and let's go forward just a little bit. Here. Here. Okay, you're breathing, okay? Mm -hmm. Nice and gentle. Oh. Tender, right? Oh. Oh. Okay, ready? Breathing. And out. Gentle. Oh. Hold on. Better? Mm -hmm. It's not tender anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, better. We're going to give this a little push on the right side. Good. Good. Nice and gentle, like this in that direction, okay? Mm -hmm. Gentle. Oh. <laughs> Still one more little tiny one right here. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> good? Mm-hmm. Can you say good in Russian? Хорошо. Хорошо.
Хорошо. Хорошо. Хорошо. Yes. Oh. Oh. A little hard. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, right? Take a deep breath in and out. Breath in, deep breath. Oh. <laughs> Use your hands. Better? Uh -huh. A little tender, right? Uh -huh. What's better? This is gonna sting, okay? Uh -huh. But it's quick. Okay, this is gonna sting just a little bit. Nice and deep breath and out. Good. Again, in breath. Oh. Did it sting? Mm? Did it sting? Was it a sharp sting? Yeah. Okay, deep breath in and out. Good, again, and out. Good, deep breath in here. Okay, nice and gentle breathing, okay? Mm -hmm. You're doing good. As you breathe out. Better? Mm -hmm. Okay, as you breathe out, we're gonna go like this in that direction. Good, let's do that same breath.
Okay. <laughs> better, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna crack your ear, okay? Mm -hmm. uh. Let's start off with some easy stuff. Do you have back pain, neck pain? Yes. What hurts uh, the most? Where my shoulders up. Okay, shoulders up. Middle or right side? Um, Usually right the most. Okay. Yeah. Pain every day for how long have you had pain every day for? Probably like nine years. What happened nine years ago? Oh, I've just had like 10 concussions, mm -hmm. been in three car accidents, mm -hmm. and um, I used to be on muscle relaxers for a nerve. All right. Do you know the details of your birth? you know if you were born natural or cesarean? Natural. Okay. Do you know if there was any complications? Did you get stuck at all? Shoulder, vacuum, forceps? Mm -mm. Okay. Do you know if you were breastfed? Yes. Okay. All right. Looking at the feet first. Heel strike, mid stance, and toe off are symmetrical. I don't see any supination, no pronation. You like to spread your toes out a lot when you walk though. That's interesting. You're a ground gripper, tree person. Okay, very good. A little bit of external rotation there when you stop paying attention to it on the left. All right, looking at the shoulders, we have a high right shoulder and uh, no, no head tilt to speak of in this posture. Go ahead, turn it the other way. Hip swing looks even from left to right, if not just a little bit more to the left, maybe possible restriction on the right. We're definitely higher on the left. There's no obvious or apparent curvatures here, pretty straight up and down. It looks very symmetrical. The muscle tone is even left to right. You have a little bit of this postural change right here from like the looking down, you know, you have, it's not really a hump here, but as long as you're conscious of your posture, this won't get any worse. And then this is just mildly flattened right here. So this should come out just a little bit more. But overall, very symmetrical, very straightforward. Good, nice and consistent. Moisture content, not ex no excessive dryness, no excessive moisture. And the temperature is very even from top to bottom and left to right. It just seems to cool off a little bit here at the lower left lumbar L5 S1 area. Yeah, all the tension just seems to increase as soon as we get past the shoulder blade. The rhomboid muscles here are very tense. Okay, I won't poke it too much. Okay, I'm going to palpate the SI joints down at the bottom, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, upper left SI joint. Any tenderness tension here? Mm, it's uncomfortable, but not really. Down here? Yeah, so lower. This is S4 at the very bottom. What about the right side? Yeah, nah. Not as much. Right side here, upper SI. Mm -hmm. Which one more, that that one on the right or this left? Mm. Or here? They're pretty even. Even, but the lower SI, S4 left, most tender. Good, good range of motion here, nice and bouncy. Right here is where it starts to get stuck. stuck. Right, T8 and 9 here, this one right here. This doesn't feel too hot right here. This is a rib head. Is that yeah, tender? Here, that take, a, take a deep breath in. Feel it when you breathe? Mm -hmm. Rib head there on the left. Good. Upper rhomboids are okay, but then as soon as we come up here to the levator scapula. Right. So this is muscular. So if you did have a pinch nerve, it was because soft tissue was pinching it, not because you had a disc here. But also, too, sometimes a, a really tense muscle can feel like a pinch nerve. Good. Now let's go left ear to the shoulder. Good. Not a lot of movement there. Right ear to the shoulder. More movement there. Is this tense? That hurts. Yeah. Where does it hurt? Right side or left? Yeah. Okay. That's muscle strain. There is just a little bit of edema over the C5 right there. Good. C5. Which is more tender? Left? Right? Or left actually. Okay. Good. Left. C5. C1, lateral mass, left, right, which is more tender. Right. Uh, looking from the glute fold at the bottom, you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, looking from the bottom or lower on the right, that means the right hip is going back like that, or the left hip forward. Okay, and then looking from the top, bring your feet as close together as possible. Good. Looking from the top where the left glute comes out just a little bit more, so that means that this might be externally rotated 
or the right side is internally rotated. Okay, no rib humping here, no curvatures to the left or right. I do see the ribs a little bit more prominently here in the upper thoracic and more on the left. This uh, hump gets accentuated as well. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here? Mm, only in the stomach. How about here? Yes. Okay, tenderness, discomfort here. Stomach. Here. Stomach. Okay. What about left versus right here? Right. Okay, okay lift. Okay, down. Left lumbar. Did not fire there. Okay, let's do the left leg. Good, and down. Even the right lumbar lag there. So one more time, right. Good, down. Okay, let's practice one first. Nice and gentle breathing. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. I'm gonna follow your breath just like that, and then at the end of your breath, we're gonna give a little push like this, okay? Mm -hmm. It's already starting to give, that's good. Okay, let's start right in the middle. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Good, shoulders sinking in, that's very good. All right, you ready for this rib head now? This, this guy's serious. Good, I'm gonna follow that breath. Good, nice, gentle, following it down. Good, same thing, deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, I'm gonna scoot you forward to the end of the table like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stretch your hip down like this. This one's IN, so you've gotta come out like this. We're gonna push down and out, okay? Good, right from here, good. Shoulders, good. Hips, good. A little bit more. Good. Good shoulders coming in this direction. Good, we're gonna bring this lumbar spine this way. Good shoulders, hips, good. Anyway, we're gonna do some very gentle stretches here just to kind of open up your cervical spine just like this, okay? Good, nice gentle breathing. Feel that bubble right there. Mm -hmm. This is like swelling outside of the joint. So left side, I'm gonna bring your head over to the side gently. I'm following your breath. We're just gonna get the key to this is just to like let your head drop in. That's it. That's perfect. And then like your shoulders and your hips too. Just feel your whole body sinking into the table. And like just like the other adjustments, as you breathe out, we're just gonna feed into it gently, and then we push like that from there. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're doing great, gentle breathing and sinking in. Very good, right there. Good, the head and neck and shoulders sink in. We're gonna dig into it just a little bit. That right yep. there, yeah. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Same exact thing as the last time. We're just gonna bring your head over and push that way, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, six, five, right here. Okay, gentle breathing. Good. Good. 
Oh, I'm gonna crack your toes now. Okay, so this is a little tender, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can definitely feel a little bit of like abdominal distension here. Um, yeah, you're, it's irritable in there. We don't have to name it irritable bowel syndrome. You already know that it's irritable. The key is, is to keep doing what you're doing. Well, obviously, you've taken care of yourself and you've probably done a lot over the years. Diet restriction, lots of water, good. Mm -hmm. My supplements. You take a probiotic? Mm -hmm. That's not about me. Okay, good. All right, so next is the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the small intestine. Good, this is two inches above the belly button. Here. Yep. Did you guys eat right before this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm in the car. Okay, that's okay. It's just active right now. All that water. Mm -hmm. It'll pass. Keep breathing. Good. Okay. Gentle breathing, just like the other adjustments. We don't have to do it too much. I'm going to use this towel to support your neck. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to bring this over like this. This helps me support your spine. Okay. We're breathing. As you breathe out, I'm going to follow that breath like this, and then at the end, we pull like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in. Good. And out. Good. Go let your jaw relax. Oh. Let's see, walk around a bit. Tell me how it feels. Still feel the pain? A little bit up in the near the shoulders. Okay, that's okay. Both sides equally? One side more than the other? Uh, both sides pretty equally. Okay, very good. Good, and then look up at the ceiling. Good, with the left atlas here. Good, and then the right side, C5. Good, the rest explain. Do you have any back pain or neck pain? Um, usually like neck pain towards the right. Okay, neck pain on the right. Mm -hmm. Do you have it every day? Um, yeah. Okay, how long, how far back can you remember? Probably like a year. Okay, what happened a year ago? I do a lot of lifting, so I think it's just a compound of that. Okay, maybe built up over time. Mm -hmm. So no actual injury in the gym? No. No, no, other, no other falls or accidents or anything about a year yeah. ago around that time? At least any other job changes? Did you move? Relationship changes a year ago? No. Okay, very good. Um, so you've been, what do you, what do you do? Nursing, travel nursing. Oh, you're a travel nurse? How long have you been a travel nurse for? Um, a year and a half now. Okay, cool. Just after COVID started. Okay. So travel nursing a year and a half, shortly thereafter neck pain started. Mm -hmm. That's pretty close. That's a year and a half year. Um, no, did you have neck pain before this, this daily? Did off and on. Off and on. Mm -hmm. Um, more so than any part of your, other part of your back, upper back or low back? Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes lower back, but... When does your neck hurt the most? In the mornings. All right, so more in the morning, that's interesting. Um, no, okay. no, because I'm a side sleeper or... Uh, or you're sleeping in hotels all the time <laughs> or Airbnbs. Yeah, mm -hmm. a constantly changing sleep environment. Um, how busy is the travel? How much, how much traveling did you do in the last year? A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More than half the year? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Most of the year. Most of the year. Tell me about the hip pains. Right or left more? Uh, the right hip. I had a car accident like five years ago mm -hmm. and I broke my right hip. Mm -hmm. So every now and again, it starts to hurt. Okay, let's go back. Broke your right hip. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Actually, you fractured your femur? Yeah, like right at the joint. What was the severity of it? Mild, moderate, severe? Um, moderate. 
How was the after effect? What What did you have to do afterwards? Like Where six some... months of physical therapy. Okay. No casting or mm-hmm. no bracing? No. So how often does your hip bother you now? Um, if I do a lot of running or a lot of cardio, then it will start to hurt. Um, probably like a couple of days a week. Uh, so I'm going to start off, we'll do an exam on your spine first. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do a gait evaluation and we'll do a seated spine exam, some standing stuff, and then a prone examination. Uh, when we, when I'm through the exam, I'll let you know, and we're going to practice one first. I'm going to do some soft tissue work too, mm-hmm. to like loosen up some structures. Uh, before I adjust you, we'll practice it. You've been adjusted before, so you know what it's like to get adjusted. But mm-hmm. before I start adjusting you, I'll let you know. There won't be any surprises or anything like okay. that. We'll figure your spine out. We'll find out where it needs to be adjusted, and then I'll adjust you. Okay. Okay, inversion and supination on the left. Not as, no inversion on the right, but still supinating as well. You can tell from the heel strike to the mid stance, there's just a very cautious letting down of the foot. She keeps all her toes elevated, almost like it's delayed or suspended animation. Okay, I'm gonna touch the arches here. Good, arches are intact on both sides equally. Turn around and face the other way. Good, then looking at the Achilles teal heel, there is a convexity here on the inside, a medial convexity, and that does indicate that there is just slight supination. Taking a visual assessment on the spine, let's look at the scapula first. Good, so we do have a higher scapula on the left, so that would be the high left shoulder. Just a little minor change, postural change, the top of the thoracic spine, just a little bit of that hump, but you're young enough that as long as you keep paying attention to your posture, this won't get any worse. We're going to do a temperature and moisture rating with the back of my fingers. Back of the fingertips are more sensitive to temperature. Good. A lot of heat coming off the top of the thoracic spine. We're working hard up here. It's very symmetrical through the shoulder blades right here at the thoracic lumbar transition. There's a slight increase on the right side versus the left, and it's pretty similar throughout the rest of the spine. Right here, there's a little bit of hypertonicity of these muscles on the right, more so than the right, or the left. Like, how does this feel right here? Sore. What about this? Does it feel like this over here? Not as sore on that side. More sore on the right. Okay, right versus left, which is more tender, right or left? Right. Yeah. Right here too, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so two sides. We've got some muscle stuff going on in the spine. The rhomboids are close to symmetrical. Let's see if there's any trigger points on the rhomboids. Okay, even left to right, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not too bad here. Maybe just slightly more on the right. Yeah. Feel that like little edema in there. Yeah. But that's not bad. Traps are generally in good condition. Muscles are in good condition, Jen. Your shoulders relaxed, so let your hands relaxed. Okay, I'm gonna look at your pelvis and uh, the, the glute fibers show mm-hmm. us which direction your pelvis is rotated. Okay, so look straight ahead. Okay, looking from the bottom, you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings. The lower glute fold is on the right, meaning your right hip is gone posterior mm-hmm. and finger like that. And then looking from the, bring your feet together. And then keep your toes, good, your toes are even. Good, we're gonna look from the top. The right side is externally rotated like that. The left side is internally rotated like that. And the glute fiber comes out a little bit further. Any discomfort or tension when I push here? Um, kind of in the middle of my back. Okay, how about here? No. Okay, some provocation on the right side. So when I push here and you say middle of your back, you mean down here? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to push down. It's an L5. Do you feel discomfort or tension here? In the same spot. Good. More on the right than the left? Um, or same? It's, a, it's the same. Good. Good. Left, right? Um, the same. Left or right? The right. Right SI joint taking primary. Primary. Good. If we come to here, left, right. Neither hurt. Yeah. 
I sent a reading. I'm gonna loosen this L5 up here. Nice, that's a reading. Okay, let's give it a try here. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. Good sinking in. Yep. Okay, now deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Gently, gently. Just breathing, letting it sink. Good sink. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. This time you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, that's what I'm gonna push. Okay. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. We're gonna adjust your lumbar spine here. Bring this like this. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up like this, and okay. then your hip down like this, but I'm gonna be pushing in that into your spine there. Okay. So turn your head so you're facing straight that way, good. Okay, good. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. And out. And we're gonna bring this down. Good, bring this over. Okay, there's one more in there, hold on. Let that hip relax, shoulders. Good, let it go. Okay, lay on your back. Okay, ilium on the right, shoulders coming up. PSIS here. Good, we're gonna bring this down, shoulders up. Good, one more breath. And out. Good. Good, lay on your back. Nice and gentle breathing. Good, we're gonna follow your breath and then we're gonna push into the side of your neck like that, okay? Okay. Okay, good, you're doing good. You're nice and relaxed, you're perfect right now. So we're just gonna follow it down. Good, we'll follow the next breath out. Good, loose, 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 gentle. I'm gonna push as gentle as possible, good. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Like I can tell that you didn't tense. Yeah, you tense. not at all. Good, head and shoulders. Good. Good, let your head relax, shoulders relax. So, this one I'm gonna bring you over to the side just a little bit more. This one's a little bit further down. It's surprising seven and six actually feel pretty good. It was actually five and four right here. Okay, but that's good. That's at the apex of the cervical spine. So we're gonna bring this one through the middle, posterior to anterior, lateral to medial, and then inferior to superior. Let us relax here, gentle. Gentle, good. This is gonna be as gentle as I possibly can. Sinking in, good, we'll follow this next breath. Good, let that all go, good. That, that was okay. That was okay. It needs a little bit more. I need to push through it just a tiny bit more. Okay. Like I went right up to the brink of the barrier, the elastic barrier, mm -hmm. but like, it's like where it needs to go is just a little bit further. Than okay. That. Okay. It's not really pushing faster, uh, pushing harder. It's just pushing faster. Good. Okay, one more time. Breathing. Good. End out. Good. Shoulders relax and sinking in. Okay, so this is a full spine adjustment, okay? Okay. You rest your hands on your belly, they're good there. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck, you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Okay, just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath. Okay. Good, and as you breathe out, we start to pull in this direction like this. At the end of your breath, we give a little bit more of a pull like that, okay? Okay. All right, good, you're doing great right now. Your legs are in good position, your hands are in good position. Good, we're gonna follow, not this breath, the next breath out. Good, you're doing good, sinking in. Good. Breathe. <laughs>